Hey everyone, it's me, Lanny. I'm so sorry for the bad lighting. It's just because, you know, my set is too cool to have amazing lighting. So we're just like under a countertop right now, but that's okay. So anyways, in this video, I'm going to be making French toast. So here are your ingredients. All right, so you're gonna need some ground cinnamon if you want, that's optional, but it makes it taste really tasty. Some sugar, some bread. This is just bread from Cracker Barrel and an egg. You'll also need some milk for this, and this is about four and a half tablespoons. And then you'll need a fork, a spoon, a little plate, and then something that is really ideal for this project, and sorry about that outlet being right there, but something that's really good for this project is to have like this little kind of pan glass thing, and it's kind of like a bowl, but it's got sides to it, so it's like a squarish, plate-ish bowl kind of thing, and we're gonna like use this for mixing up all our ingredients, so yeah. Okay, so start off by pouring in your milk into the pan, then you're gonna crack your egg. Crap. Okay, sorry about that. Lanny kind of had an egg accident and just dropped the egg. But what you're gonna do just put a piece of your bread in. I'm using Cracker Barrel bread. I gotta add Cracker Barrel, obviously. And this is so good. I love this bread. But even if you don't have like white bread, that's okay. You can use brown bread, bread, or whatever kind of bread that you have in your house. And you're just gonna get that all in the mixture. And then you're gonna flip it over. The trick for making French toast is not to leave it in the mixture for a long time. Because if you do, it's gonna get super soggy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it out and just make sure that you've got some mixture on both sides. I didn't get some of this part. Get it like that. And you're going to quickly transfer it onto another plate. Now what you're gonna do is you will take some of your cinnamon and just like that. Kinda get a lot on there. And then you're gonna take your sugar and get a good amount of that and set it on there. And you're gonna like go like this. So you're just getting it all over the place and I'm going to add a little bit more sugar, I mean cinnamon. Like that. So you've basically got it all spread around like that. It's kind of hard to spread around actually, but you're going to take your bread and set it on there like this and just like pat it down. Okay, and then you will flip it back over. Pat it. Okay, so now you've got it all over. Okay, so I guess I kind of forgot to mention that you need this, but you will need a stove, obviously, and you want to put your stove on medium-high, somewhere around there, and then you're going to need some butter, and just put some butter in your pan, like that, and um, your butter should start melting and like steam is coming out, you might be able to see them. Now that it's basically melted, you're gonna set your French toast in there, and let me kinda get my camera at a different angle. I know you can't see it that well, and I'm really sorry about that, but we can just try. And it's already cooking, it's turning a different color. And you're just kinda gonna let it sit there for about 20 or 30 seconds. I'd say 20, because I'm afraid for it to burn, especially because I'm home alone, and I don't want my house to catch on fire. And now you can actually hear it start to sizzle, and that's when you're gonna flip it. Can you hear that? Once again, flip it when like the sizzling um, gets a little bit louder. All this white stuff, that's the butter, by the way. I'm gonna give it one more flip and get it. <laughs> okay, so I think that's good enough. And now I'm just going to scoop it up and put that back on my plate. Okay, and then the last step is to add like your favorite seasoning and topping kind of things. So I'm just putting some butter on, even though it's probably already drenched in butter. And then I'm gonna be using maple syrup. I like to use maple syrup for French toast especially because it just gives it more of that like, you know, kind of natural taste. And I'm just going to cut it. I would put whipped cream on it, but it seems like if I did, 
then it will kind of just get all soggy. But now I've cut it and I'm just going to taste some of it to prove that it's good. It is so amazing. And something I have to tell you about this is that you probably have to eat it one by one because these do cool down a lot. But thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!